bound White Cross close to the boundary. Flax has been good today. He's at half forward flank. He decides to come back in board. That's smart. Oh, they're trying to rush it here. That's a dangerous side from Gibson. But he has a shot on goal. Is it bending around? It isn't. It's away to the right. Might have score. I just had a feeling he should have gone back then instead of trying to rush himself into the kick. Eight points the difference. 66 plays 58. Well, they're doing it in one uh, box hill. Not the quickest way to do it, but uh, McGrath brings it in. He goes short. It's okay. Found Smith. Smith was going to 1 2 with McGrath. Now decides that he will go with that. McGrath looks up. Now he's running himself into a bit of a trouble. He has to get around Smithwick. Loses the football. Smith's there to lend some assistance. And McGrath gets it back and now gets it on the boot. Now it's going to work out. Ends up with Robbins. 35 flavours. Gets it over towards Bats Armas who went wide. Getting up though and putting in the punch was Markovic. Just text me. Text me. Call me. Call me. Call me. And the ball goes out of bounds. Good spoil there on Toby Binwell. Markovic a long way from home. I reckon about five minutes to go, Ben. Five minutes to go. We're ticking the time on 20 in the final quarter. Eight points the difference. Box Hill need to extract a digit. Went through the hands of Pinwell, but Bats Harness, he's been okay today as well. Milner, ground level, got ridden into the back. In some states, that sort of tackle is still illegal. And uh, Milner wins himself a free kick on the defensive side of centre wing. He does. He needs to get a move. And the rash man uh, understands that. Bellow took a juggling mark right on the point of the square. He looks up, not much on, so he goes to the run of Markovic. And Markovic takes the ball to the centre-half back position, decides to work it to McQueen, Gamble. Gamble. m has got it, centre wing, Middleborough Road side of the ground. Decides to come back in ball to Lyle. Lyle's got it, still centre of the ground. He needs an option because Port Melbourne are flooding back. He goes long, Smith tries to get involved here. Goes flying for the ball. Get up, waiting at the foot. Runs to 35. Out. No, he's away to the left. Oh, jeez, the voice is ready to go. I was pumped up. And I tell you what, Paul Melbourne friends are known for going feral, but Box Hill fans just might lose the plot here if they can't put one between the big sticks. Nine inside fifties to five in favour of Box Hill. Yep, they've been all over them, everywhere except the scoreboard, and that's where it counts, unfortunately, in this game. You don't get points for effort. Through Pinwell, they come through the middle of the ground towards McGrath, is a long way from home, picks up the bouncing ball, takes it, bounce himself, and brings it inside 50, just squaring it up. Not a good kick. Getting back was Morton, who's changed the number 82 because he had his jumper ripped off in a scuffle. This is okay to Whitecross, who gets it off to Stokes, who's got a bit of ground to move with. He goes out towards Smithwick. Smithwick marks. You need to go back, young man. Take, so take his time. Shot. Take his time, for God's sake. So, a goal here, and we've got a point ball game, and could be a replay of uh, Shades of yesterday when uh, the Cats came out of nowhere and jagged the four points. If Smithwick kicks this, it is on for young and old. So we're with Smithwick. Left forward pocket, it's out. Uh, right forward pocket gets up the breeze. No, he's pulled it. Go for distance, he's pulled it. It's one straight kick, the difference. Seven, uh, just waiting for the goal on uh, the board attendant. 9-12-66. To uh, 7 18. 18. Goodness me, 60 on the Mutter Architect scoreboard. And I'm uh, no student of the game, but that doesn't seem like good kicking. Uh, gentlemen, uh, call, your, call your bookies now and get the odds for the draw as McGrath to bring the ball back into play at the 22 minute mark. And he hugs close towards the boundary line. Oh, no, it's out of bounds on the full. It's out of bounds on the full. Kenner has the ball in the pocket. They're running everywhere, screaming for it. Stokes is unmanned at the hot spot. He decides to go back. Concedes ground door. It's a poor kick to Gibson. Gibson under pressure. Goes for a snap. It's a shot at goal! My goodness gracious me! Scores a level! They've stuffed up the hand pass. Gibson under pressure just went for home. He's put it between the big sticks. Gentlemen, Corey, scores a dead level! Well. Corey McGrath knows as well. That was a silly kick from him. A senior player like that bringing the ball in from defence. Unbelievable. But that's 11 inside 50 to 5 in favour of Box Hill. They should be really in front with that amount of times inside 50. Well, she's all tied up here at Box Hill. Nice. Good work now, Benny. Yeah, we're <laughs> back on board. Free kick, centre square in Frisch. We're going away off Box Hill. So now Box Hill, as we tick over 24 minutes, gets it on to Tuck, who bangs it inside 50. And Mark here, Pedersen oh. almost took the grab. Ground level, Kenner. Got taken out of the contest. The umpire says play on. And we'll have a bounce inside the Box Hill Ford 50. 45 metres around from their goal. They'll be keen to score. Just to put a bit of... Uh, just to get a bit of a gap because I don't think it'll be a long quarter. Even a point will do. Any score will, will do. do. 
Ball back up. Pedersen in the ruck. Oh, and Campbell, in fact, it was. Bouncing ball. Now Pedersen got stripped of the football. Campbell there at ground level tries to get it out, but a uh, big pack of desperate poor players. Batsanas is in there, and they wrap it up again. What's it like at ground level, Matt? She's asleep. Could Sorry, be, boy. Could be less interested. <laughs> I know, very, um, lots of tension in the air here. The crowd really getting into it. Big Punch up. came out towards Savage. Savage got it out towards uh, White Cross. White Cross yeah, to towards Mustard. Mustard from 45. Oh, in front. Well, he's got it'll the point. It'll do. <laughs> 8 19 67. Box Hill in front of the Mutter Architects scoreboard. Port Melbourne 9 12 66. Pedro, there might be one last chance for you to scream your port, port, uh, Piers, uh, your port, bring these off. Uh, Rashi, you better point. get down here. There's I'm, an old lady whacking Rashi on the back of the head with a record. I'm sucking that. I'll be there in a minute. Dalton long towards the centre half back position. Pedersen goes up. Smith as well. Ball hits the ground. In dispute. McMahon trying to come on through. Swarmed upon. Could be pinned for holding. He's gone. Oh, and you can hear the crowd coming into it now. The he balcony the... has erupted, boy. Oh, and that's just Paul Hooper. That's <laughs> six great kicks. Two of the last quarter, favourite Box Hill. Robbie Campbell with the ball. He's a long, long way from home. He's about 60 metres out. He goes short. Is it the smart option? It is. It finds Mustin. Mustin. Oh, They're starting to queue the clock. Oh, he has to take on two oh, players. Oh. He goes off the side of the boot towards the top of the goal square. Oh. Cut off. Mark for Port Melbourne. And uh, getting in the way is Fleming. One point the difference. Box Hill in front, 8-19 to 9-12. We've gone 25 minutes of the final term. Fleming comes out towards the wing. It's the long, it's on the middle bar road side of the ground. Gone through hands. Kang went up for it. Right by Stokes. Stokes for Box Hill. Coming back looking for Whitecross. Couldn't find him. Numbers there with Fleming as well. Nearly intercepted by Stevie Kenner. Got halfway within the middle. Hand pass over the top to find Smithwick for Box Hill. Had it momentarily. Full Smith. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gibbs and strikes again for Box Hill. 9-19-73, Port Melbourne, 9-12-66. Find the fat lady, give her a kiss and let her bellow. Good afternoon. My goodness, Sammy Gibson again. He's been important in this last quarter a couple. I mean, we've paraded him for not going back and having a set shot, and he's kicked two from outside with just on the 50. That's 14 inside 50s to 5 feet in the last quarter by Box Hill. Hear the crowd, boys. Hear the crowd. And they are into it. Box Hill at home are proving very, very hard to toss this year. Back in the middle, Campbell it was, won it down, and I tell you, Mustin has been superb. Tuck in the middle of the contest but the umpire comes in and says we will have a secondary bounce. 9 an inaccurate Box Hill, but they're in front at the moment by seven points. It's got to be lucky there's two minutes left. Yeah, it have to be. Minutes. Two kicks are in at 9-12-66 on the Mutter Architect scoreboard. Deluca slaps it forward, but uh, Keel it was come crashing through the pack he turned it over though, but Campbell was there to lend us some assistance. Free kick though being picked out to the box hill. It's all going their way now as Bello just squares it out and they need to just slow it down, Box Hill, as Markovic. Call me. In fact it wasn't Markovic, it uh, was Lyle. He goes long along the boundary line. Looking for teammates, but they can't find any. And the umpire's picked out a free kick way off the pill, though, but it's coming back towards Box Hill to be taken by Uze. Uze now bangs it inside 50 in the Pedersen direction. Took a clever diving mark, and he has marked just where the jumping castle used to stand not more than half an hour ago. Rashi's jumping castle, isn't it? It is the Rashi's playground. And Cam Pedersen... Got the icing on the cake as well. A, he, and the social room's reinforced, they'll be jumping tonight. Yeah, well, it'll, it'll, it'll be the building report they didn't want if it <laughs> So uh, it is with Cam Pedersen, comes in, he hasn't got enough on it, sets it up towards the top of the goal square, offhands. Yes. behind as the siren sounds, 9.20, 74, Box Hill in a boil over, Port Melbourne, 9.12.66.